Welcome to the 2022 Unity Beginners course. This is episode 14 and I will talk about global and local spaces. A global space represents the true coordinates of positions, rotations and scales. The global space provides a universal coordinating system for the entire scene. Local spaces, on the other hand, are spaces relative to specific objects. A common example of global and local spaces is our real world. Our GPS coordinate is relative to the Earth, and the Earth's position is relative to the solar system, and that of the solar system is relative to our galaxy. It is extremely difficult to define an absolute global space in our real universe, but is relatively easy in video games. We should be aware of the space when designing our game. The transform property comes with the position and rotation properties. These properties are in global space. In fact, there are also local position, local rotation, and local scale as well. Let's call them local vectors. These local vectors are relative to the direct parent transform. Notice, the scale property does not exist in the transform class. We should always use the local scale when we need to deal with the scale property. There are a few methods to convert from local to global space and vice versa. The transform.transform point method converts a position from local to global space and the transform.inverse transform point method converts a position from global to local space. Meanwhile, for directional vectors, the transform.transform direction method converts the direction from local to global space, while the transform.inverse transform direction method converts from global to local space. These conversion functions are useful when you need to pass vectors to functions. For example, the physics.addForce at position method takes the force and position parameters all in global space or world position. You should be aware of the space required by the function. And you can also check the requirements of the function via the Unity scripting API. Global and local spaces can also be used in the scene view. We can switch between spaces and the handles will be changed accordingly. When in global mode, the direction of the translation arrows will be fixed, while in local mode, they will point relative to the object's orientation. And that is how you deal with global and local spaces. This is episode 14 of the 2022 Unity Beginners course. I am Yellow Flicker and I will see you in the next episode. Stay tuned.